Let's talk about Bruce Lee. Yeah, it's gonna be a Bruce Lee video. There is this commonly repeated idea on the internet that back in Bruce Lee's day, that there was no full contact competition. That there were no combat sports with very few rules that allowed full contact strikes. That all there was was point karate and nothing but. And this is a lie. This is gross misinformation. Back in the 1960s, what actually happened? Well, Bruce Lee traveled in certain circles with certain people, and those certain people were the point karate crowd. And so, perhaps from his perspective, it seemed like all there was in the world, and by the world I mean Bruce Lee's world, in his personal paradigm, was point karate. And so he ended up having a lot of conversations with point karate guys that probably went something like this. Yeah, that point karate stuff is not very realistic because real fights don't happen like that. People actually hit each other in real life. And you don't stop when you score a point. And I'm sure Bruce ruffled a lot of feathers in the circles in which he turned. Because again, Bruce existed within the paradigm of the traditional martial arts community on the west coast of the United States in the 1960s. He didn't know anything about Vale Tudo happening 30 years earlier in Brazil. He didn't know anything about full contact combat, sambo, grappling and wrestling happening at the same time over in Russia. What else was there? Man, remember when Bruce Lee shot that movie The Big Boss, filmed in Thailand? And Bruce was there for a while, man. He, he spent a while in Thailand. How can you live in Thailand for the course of several months long enough to shoot a major motion picture and not be aware of Muay Thai? and what Muay Thai is. Are we to assume that Bruce Lee was blissfully ignorant of the fact that this full contact fighting style with very few rules existed in a country in which he abided for several months while shooting a movie? Now, of course, Bruce was busy making a movie. I don't know how Busy he was out there checking out the local martial arts scene. But he had to have crossed paths with the fact that Muay Thai existed at some point. So this idea that all that existed in Bruce Lee's day was point karate is a bunch of garbage. It's a bunch of contrived revisionist history. Within the circles that he turned, within his community, within the point karate community, oh, man, Bruce Lee was the one-eyed man in the land of the blind, telling everybody, hey, guess what? We don't have to do point sparring. Maybe we can actually get out there and, and touch each other for real when we spar. Maybe we can grapple and strike and fight in all ranges of combat and not just play from way out here. Within the circles that he turned, yeah, that was revolutionary. Within the history of the world at large, no, that's old news. But people love their dogma. They love their dogma. And the dogma, the dogmatic history that is often repeated about Bruce Lee is that there was nothing else but point karate back in the 1960s. Meanwhile, every boxer in the world shaking their heads.
Man, Jean LaBelle, a contemporary of Bruce Lee, a man who taught Bruce Lee judo techniques, judo Jean LaBelle, back when Bruce Lee was still alive, Jean LaBelle did an actual mixed martial arts bout with Milo Savage, a boxer, a judo versus boxing match with ver a very limited rule set, full contact. Jean LaBelle was challenging people to full contact fights before it was cool. And this wasn't new either. Man, this wasn't new. This had been going on for decades, for ages, for millennia. A lot of people are really excited about that guy, Xu Xiaodong, right now. That Chinese dude who beat up the uh, those fake Tai Chi guys. And the internet exploded. And a lot of people are are they're getting weird about it. They're saying, oh, poor Xu Xiaodong. The Chinese government's being so mean to him. Oh. Okay. Here's what happens when you break the law. The government tends not to like it. And you might think, what, what laws have been broken? All right, you may not be aware of the fact that since the Cultural Revolution, dueling in China has been banned. Prior to the Cultural Revolution, it was a big deal. People would get in duels all the time. This used to happen in lots of places. In Europe, in the United States, people would duel. Sometimes they would duel with bare hands. Sometimes they would duel with pistols at 50 paces. Sometimes they would duel with swords. But with the coming of the Cultural Revolution, dueling was banned, and that law still stands in effect today. If you're going to have a contest of martial arts, you need the government stamp of approval. And that's a pretty constant rule throughout the world. For example, in the United States, the land of freedom, if you will, it's no different. If you want to put on a combat sports event, you have to have permission from the government to do so. If you try putting on a combat sports event that is not done through the correct channels, a non-sanctioned underground event, guess what? That's a crime. And the government is going to jump down your throat for it. Oh, poor Xu Xiaodong. So this story has been spun and respun by a bunch of YouTubers looking for views, looking for adulation, looking for praise and pity. I'm not having any of that, guys. So... Yeah, man, full contact jeweling, Go back, going back to Bruce Lee. Before Bruce Lee was born, before he was a thought in his father and mother's mind, that was a thing. And after dueling was banned in China, you know what they did? They came up with this interesting full contact combat sport with a limited rule set called Sunda, which in Chinese means free fight meaning you can punch and you can kick and you can grapple, you can do throws and takedowns. It's a fantastic sport. But apparently Bruce Lee was completely unaware that it existed, as, which, as was most of the Western world at the time. A lot of people tend to forget that Bruce Lee was an American. I got so many comments about Bruce Lee telling me things Bruce Lee did in China. Bruce Lee never went to China. Guys, did you know that? Bruce Lee was born in the United States of America. His parents were from Hong Kong. Bruce Lee spent some of his life in Hong Kong. Some of his life in the United States. But the man was an American and he never once set foot on mainland China. And I don't think he knew a great deal about mainland China.
Bruce Lee was a proud American. And I think he wanted to be remembered as such. It's another one of those Bruce Lee myths that I just want to squish the idea that Bruce Lee was not an American. If Bruce Lee was not an American, then I am not an American. He was a first-generation American. I am a first-generation American. He was born in the United States from immigrant parents. So was I. If Bruce Lee was not an American, my children are not Americans. They were born in China, by the way. But they're U.S. citizens. Because if your parents are American citizens and you were born in China, you're an American. So, man, show some respect, show some love to the man, recognize the fact that he was an American. One of my favorite Bruce Lee quotes of all time and it wasn't original to him. It's an old proverb. Under the sun, there is but one family. A lot of folks have been asking me, Ramsey, what do you think of what's going on in America right now? And the honest answer, guys, I don't know what's going on in America right now because I live in China. I'm not in America. I haven't been in America for years. And every time I've gone back, in the last 11 years I've been back to the U.S. three times, it has felt like a foreign country. Things have changed so much. So quickly. And so all I know of America right now is what the media tells you. And one thing I know about the media is they lie to you. Constantly. Every way they can, every way that benefits them. They will take a truth and they will twist it just enough to get you to be a puppet on the strings of their agenda. So that's what I think about what's happening in America right now. Meaning, I don't know what to think. I'm not there. For my American friends out there in America right now, what do you think? So we've gone here and there, up and down, left and right, in this edition of whatever this is that's coming out of my mouth right now. But yeah, Bruce Lee did not invent the idea of full contact fighting. He did not invent the idea of mixing martial arts, although he certainly is largely responsible for popularizing those ideas within popular culture. But what is popularized in popular culture is a very different thing than what actually is. Bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.